Hey, this is a video on JavaScript and more specifically jQuery. What to do if you have to answer a question in an interview. And if you're good at it, then, you know, you don't have any problems. But if you're like me and you don't work with it a whole lot, then this is how I go about answering questions on J JavaScript. First of all, I say, you know, I don't work with it a lot. I'm more of a middle tier guy. But JavaScript is um, a programming a scripting language rather that lets you uh, make manipulate the HTML document on the client side and it's important to that's why it's really important it does everything on the client side it doesn't have to go back to the server for more instructions and it allows you to do things like um, have pop-ups and validations and you know change formatting on the fly um, things to make a more responsive and interesting user experience um, after I spit out those buzzwords and fun facts, I say, but when I have to do client-side programming, I use jQuery. And that's usually good because jQuery is a big buzzword these days and scores me some points. jQuery is nothing more than a library um, it's, that uh, makes JavaScript more, makes it easier to use. Um, but it's very popular. As you can see, I have this MVC project I opened up. It's an empty one. And Microsoft included jQuery right over here in the project without even being asked. That's how popular it is. Microsoft throws it in there for you. You see how it has 1.4.1 um, uh, and then this 1.4.1 min. Um, the difference is that min is compressed, where this other one is just the JavaScript. In fact, you can mess around with it, open it up, read it, mess with it, see what happens. But you want to include the min on your page because it's just faster and more efficient. And it's really easy. I already have it on my page. Let me take it off. Here's what you do. You make space for it in the head. You grab it, drag it over, drop it. Good to go. Now, you can see my project has a div tag with a word in it. And here you go. There's the word. Um, test. So one thing you can do with jQuery, like I said, it's just a library that makes JavaScript easier. One thing you can do is um, do formatting with it. Format the objects. So I'll show you an example of what I mean. If you want to use jQuery, you just make your script tags like always. And JavaScript because deep down inside, that's J jQuery is JavaScript. Now, here's the interesting stuff. When I first started doing jQuery stuff, I was kind of psyched out by all the weird symbols. But it starts off with a dollar sign, and that's nothing more than saying, we're going to use the um, jQuery factory to create a jQuery object. So that's just a short, that's just, um, you know, a shortcut. Um, then you op you have this parenthesis, and this is where you put what you're looking for. And right now, I'll just make it really simple. I'm looking for a div. And so anything I do with this um, function I'm creating here is going to affect every div on the page. If I had 20 divs, it would affect them all. But right now, obviously, I only have the one. So what I'm doing is I've just said, hey, jQuery, give me all the divs. Let's do something with it. What I'm going to do is um, change the styling on it. And this is kind of cool because what we're doing here is defining the styles. You know, it's like we were using the style sheet. In fact, this is the same thing as using a style sheet. And that's one of the problems with uh, learning jQuery. There's so many different ways to do this that you say, well, how do I do something or other? Oops, not color. How do I do something or other? Well, there's six ways to do it. Um, which actually stands in the way of learning, I think, because <laughs> it's kind of confusing. But what I'm doing here is I'm just, just like you would have um, your style sheet. Um, but what's cool about it is that this is JSON, right? Which is another cool buzzword. So you can put that in your bag of tricks. Say, yeah, I'm using, I use uh, jQuery, JSON, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of guy I am. Okay, so what? Um, for style, we'll make it solid. Oops, and uh, of course with JSON, you put it in the brackets. 
Okay, so here's my here's my uh, jQuery. Give me all the divs. That's all that means. What are we going to do with it? We're going to change the style. How are we going to change the style? I'm passing you all this JSON data, and if I typed it in well, although I don't know why this comma does. Oh, you know why? Because everything has to be in quotes. That should make it happy. Blah blah blah. HTML so verbose. Okay, let's see if that worked. So we should expect that my page would have a red border of this size around it. Save it. And because it's client side, right, I don't have to really do anything except reload the page. In fact, I'll just go here and refresh. And boom, like we expected. Okay, so what I just did was I used jQuery to make a client side you know, mess with things on the client side. Um, like we said, you could have put these, you could have made these stylings up here, or you could have made a style sheet. So here, I'll do something a little more interesting. We're going to add some buttons. All right. Um, and we'll put in a button. Um, and we'll give that button an ID of, uh, sorry, I can't type today for some reason, button little. And we'll put in another one. An ID of button big. Let's just see how this looks. Make sure I didn't screw any HTML up. Save it. Refresh it. Oops. Okay, there's our buttons. They don't do anything, right? They're just buttons. But we can use jQuery to make them do something. Now, you could use JavaScript. You could have like the uh, on click event here, right? Like I said, there's a dozen different ways to do things. We're basically going to take this on click um, functionality and do it in jQuery. So, what we do is once again we say, well, what element are we looking for? And this time, we're going to use a new symbol. And that symbol is a hashtag, or I call it a hashtag. And we actually put the ID in. This means find everything with this particular ID. Now, if you get into it, you can say things like find everything with an ID that starts with this, or an ID that ends with this, or an ID that looks kind of like this. That's beyond the scope of this um, video. I just want to show that you can find things just by the element type, or you can find it by the actual ID. So there's my ID, and what are we going to do? We're going to take the click event and do something with it. Now this is also cool. Remember how I gave you this buzzword? You say, yeah, JSON. Well, we're going to make an anonymous function. What are we going to do when we click? Well, we're going to have a new function. You have to spell it right, but you have to have a function. Anonymous function. Don't give it a name, just use it. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our div tag. I'm going to do a little copying and paste in here. And in our div, we're going to uh, change the border width. How about we change it to one pixel? And now, after a while you get used to all these parentheses. Basically this parenthesis went with this parenthesis of the anonymous function. This, I'm sorry, this bracket went with this bracket. This parenthesis went with this parenthesis and then semicolon to end it all. Um, do some more cutting and pasting here. And we're going to say the uh, big button, button big. Remember, this is this is the, uh, just says, hey, use the factory to create whatever I put in here. And what I put in here was the ID of the element I want to mess with. So if we, big, we'll change that to six pixels. So if I click the little button, it should fire off this anonymous function and change the border and fire off this big you know the big button will do that and like I said it's all client side it's all fast and it's all happening so let's see I'll save it 
reload it. And uh, there's little. See, it made it little. Big, boom, big, little, big. Client side action. This is like one tenth of one millionth of a percent of things that jQuery can do for you. It's actually kind of fun once you get past the freaky syntax. Um, one last thing, you, so on an interview you should be able to say jQuery, you should be able to explain it starts with a dollar sign. You can find things by um, the element. You can find things by an ID. You can also find things by a class and rather than um, the hash, if you put a period in there, then it would find everything that's of type of a class button little. I don't have a class button little, but that would be it. Um, and like I said, it, it goes very deep if you want to look at what it does. So what do we know? If you're asked about ja uh, JavaScript, say it's client side, it's useful for pop-ups and manipulating the HTML. Uh, it's fast and responsive, it makes the interface fun for the user. What you use is jQuery because jQuery is a library, a very popular library that makes JavaScript fun. Not fun. It is fun, but it makes JavaScript uh, easier to use. And you should know, you know, a few, a little bit of the syntax. And that's all. Good luck.